morning. My name is Oki Smith. I was born in Aberdeen, but I've lived in Cheshire now for nearly 40 years. I am a valued member of the Holstein UK NBDC classification team. I've been classified now for just over 12 years, during which time I have covered most parts of the UK and Northern Ireland. I've been asked this morning to explain a very important trait in an animal, the 10th trait of 24 we measure on a daily basis, it being rear leg side view. It is important that an animal can walk long distances if required, live comfortably in modern housing environments, lying down and getting up with ease. It is imperative that an animal can respond quickly on occasions when required. For example, meeting with slippery or uneven surfaces during Easter's activity or instances of bullying which may occur. This is naturally impossible if they do not possess desirable set to the rear legs. Good set to the rear leg could also help longevity in an animal. It can greatly enhance the length of the stride, resulting in good locomotion, as is evident in our LP100 cows and above. This linear measurement again is done by the eye, on a scale from 1 to 9. We start at, if there's any significant difference, we must score the extreme or washed side. This is an angle measurement taken immediately at the front of the hock, with a range from 160 degrees down to 134. We refer to the set in the rear legs as straight, intermediate and sickle. The optimum linear for this particular trait is 4, 5, 6 and 7. This heifer clearly scores 1. She is over 160 degrees. She is familiar with management aids. The swelling and puffiness in the region of the hock generally associated with this linear is evident. Unfortunately this heifer is housed in a separate environment from the main milking herd. This heifer scored VG earlier. She scores five. She is 148 degrees. A trouble-free heifer living comfortably in this modern housing environment. I couldn't find another heifer, but this cow scores nine. She's clearly below 136 degrees. Note the damage in the region of the hock, and she's struggling there to support her mature weight. This cow is unfortunately also housed in a separate environment. In conclusion, to help our young breeders, just going a little bit further, a cow with crooked hind legs, with linears of eight and nine, sickle hock does the correct terminology that should be used in describing rear leg set and the giving of reasons. Thank you.